Hey there. Um, it is time for our next Play Center Zoom In. Today we are going to take a close look at our art center. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so here is a big picture view of our art center. We have these containers, which I will get into in a moment in our drying rack. The main table and stools and art easel. This is where the students can choose to hang their artwork. Um, although more often than not, they opt to take it home. Uh, when the art center wall gets too crowded, we do try to condense and trim off like the excess paper and we put it on that art collage, which is just on a flat cardboard box. And then over here, we also have a shelf that is part of our art center as well. You'll notice that we strategically place the art center right next to our classroom sink for easy access to the water, makes cleanup time that much easier. So on this little shelf, we just have different colors of construction paper, Markers, people colored markers, crayons, oil pastels, um, colored pencils, scissors, and we also have these types of scissors that are easier to grip for, for our littles who are struggling with um, the scissor grip. And then down here we have just scrap paper. This was a little anchor chart that we put together at the beginning of the school year just sharing ideas around what we can do in the art center. And I also have this printable. This did not come from me. Um, it came from, let's see if I can read that. Hooray for TK. Uh, but we use this chant, two fingers on the bottom and the thumb on top. Open the mouth and go chop, chop, chop. And that helps kids remember how to hold their scissors. In every center, I always try to include books. So I pulled some of them out so you could see. This is an ABC Art Museum book. I'm not just a scribble. I ain't gonna paint no more. And I don't draw, I color. And then of course you can see too that we have some how to draw books. Um, I love these ones. We just purchased these this year. I like them because they are more specific to this age level. The ones that I had before were too complicated. These are far more simplistic drawings. So how to draw cute things, cool vehicles, cool robots, and cute monsters. Those are from Amazon. So in those storage drawers, we have various materials, ribbon, crepe paper, uh, popsicle sticks, coffee, filters, cupcake liners, um, clay, yarn, Q-tips, pipe cleaners, foam pieces, self-inking stampers. Those came from the Target dollar spot. Um, we have another set of drawers I can show you. In this drawer, we have this papal paper crinkler. Um, more pipe cleaners, liquid glue. These are foam sheets. And here we have watercolor paints. And this is where we store our regular paints. On the table, we have some additional oil pastels, markers, and these are also new to our art center this year. I know so many of you use them, but I didn't buy any till this year. I don't know why. I don't know what I was waiting for, but these paint sticks, I love them. We display this art.
around as they work. And they do, you know, they get dirty, but they clean very easily. Okay, that is it for the art center. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.